Welcome to Toffee TV, it's the Everton News Daily, it's Tuesday the 27th of February. It is the two year anniversary since Farhad Mashiri took over Everton Football Club or bought into Everton Football Club. And how's that gone? Um, well, in the main, it's been positive. Well, it's been from his his input it's been very positive he spent 277 million pound or Everton have spent it since he come in obviously recouping a number of that as well um the stadium you know we've bought the land down at Bramley Moor Dock we're progressing ahead with that so that's a massive thing that we have to thank Farad Mashiri for without a shadow of a doubt it'd never be done but obviously he's always going to get judged on what's going on on the pitch and it's not very good at the minute, is it? You know, this season has been very, very turbulent. Started off at Ronald Koeman, went to David Unsworth. We're now at Sam Allardyce, and there's already talk that he'll be replaced in the summer again. And I think, you know, we need to really start planning for next season now. We need to try to tie down a manager that is going to be able to take us forward, that the fans are going to buy into. And someone that will settle the whole club down and have an idea and a blueprint. You know, whenever if Farad Mashiri was to ask the fans advice or even watch this news daily, I would be saying to him, get a manager with an identity. Someone who can say, this is how I play. This is what I do. And, and we're true to it. And then we can buy players that fit into that identity rather than, you know, the la I mean... For all Robert, and I'm not advocating Roberto Martinez, but for all of his faults, he had a way of playing that he just stuck to. And it was to his detriment in the end because he couldn't sort out the defence. But he knew exactly what he wanted to do and how he wanted to play, and he didn't really falter from that. David Moyes kind of had a, a set way of doing things and he stuck to that. But Ronald Koeman, strangely enough, didn't. He was His team was all over the place, or his style was all over the place, I felt. And... Lukaku, Romelu Lukaku got him out of trouble on a lot of occasions and then this year it all went to pot as we see and Sam Allardyce doesn't seem to know what he's, what way of playing is so we need a manager that's going to come in and say look this is how I play, this is my philosophy and everyone can buy into it because we did all buy into Roberto Martinez in the first season didn't we and I suppose we need a manager who can unite us all together and bring in better players and make us move forward that's what we're all crying out for because at the minute there's a lot of you know fractures with the fan base with the manager with, with the team we need it united and be united with the money and with the the hope and the driving force behind the stadium and everything else we can move forward but at the minute that seems miles away um Mikel Arteta has been linked he's the latest name to be linked with the Everton job uh, in the summer, obviously at Manchester City at the moment with Pep Guardiola winning a trophy at the weekend. Arteta's a gamble. Yes, he's he's been with, you know, he's worked under Moyes. He's worked, so he knows how Everton works. He's worked under Wenger at Arsenal, and now he's been alongside Pep, seeing how he does it. And you know what? He might make a fantastic manager, but to me, it's still a gamble. He's never managed, so that to me is a gamble. Um, but a lot of people want him. We've got Eddie Howe linked again. Still a gamble, but obviously he's a manager. He's been around. Sean Dyche doing a good job at Burnley. You know, obviously Marco Silva's is linked every other day, basically because he hasn't got a club at the minute. And Farad Mashiri was willing to pay allegedly up to 20 million for him. Paolo Fonseca, who is out of contract in the summer, and everybody seems to want the man in the mask. And Gallardo, the River Plate manager, is being linked today. Um, he's a young, you know, he should play for Argentina. Young manager, I think he's in his 30s, but he's done really well with River Plate, so he's another one. So, those names. Where's Tushel? Uh, Morgan Feeney has flown out to Holland for a double knee operation. His season is over. Hopefully, it's just minor operations and Morgan can get it done and be ready when pre-season begins because he's made big strides in the 23s this season and also played in Limassol um, and come on against Atalanta at home. He, uh, the young centre-back who season ticket is in the Gladys Street, remember? So we wish Morgan a speedy recovery on those operations and uh, get back 
quickly as possible and from one centre back needing a knee operation to a centre back that is coming back from the injury uh, Romero Funes Mori has said he is ready now to be recalled to the Everton starting lineup. up um, hopes that Sam Allardyce will put him in soon he wants to stake his claim of course for Argentina's World Cup bid this summer and wants to get back on the Everton side as soon as possible um, left side at centre back good at some things not so good at marking but good in the air decent off corners attacking so maybe we might actually have a bit of a threat with uh, Gilfie's corners maybe he'll get near some so we'll have to see whether Sam Allardyce thinks it's time to put him back in at the weekend maybe he will Burnley quite direct quite physical in the final third maybe he'll think you know, might go to three at the back something wacky like that uh, Everton have been linked today with Rafa Silva the forward midfield forward who plays for Benfica Leicester also credited with an interest apparently Everton tried to get him on loan in January or inquired about the loan in January um, but Benfica didn't want him to leave on loan but his agents have said that there could be a deal done in the summer he's confirmed Everton and Leicester City's interest in the 23 year old midfield player so I have to see uh, I'm finishing with the Merseyside derby has been moved to April the 8th it is now a 2.15 kick off at Goodison Park however it may be moved again dependent on the Champions League draw so look out for that if you haven't subscribed then why not do so now it takes a second if you want more videos join us on Patreon see you later